All right, guys. Today we're going to be playing Riffin Top, but this time I'm going to teach you guys the Riffin versus Mordecaster matchup. So, I'll teach you some new stuff about this today. Um, just in short, what we have in this game is Conquer. We also have the Nullifying Orb, which is extremely important in this matchup for tanking the some of the damage. We also have Transcendence. And along with this, we have Ignite. We also have Longsword with three pots. All right, so um, first things first. Let me just quickly get my headset right. Wait. All right. Now it's ready and set. So there's two ways how you can play this matchup, okay? There is the aggressive way. Uh, trying to get the push against Mordecai to level 1. And trying to cheese him level 2. And then there's my favorite way of playing against Mordecai, of which I'm about to show you here. I suppose you guys can already like kind of guess what I'm going to do. So we're going to play it kind of safe right now. That's the tactic. Once we reach level 3, we will have the wave here. We can also set up the, the lane for gangs. We can also start trading a lot better this way. We get Wolvik down here. It's a pretty early gank though. There we go. So usually what I do against Mordecaster players, if I can manage to get a push at level 1 um, without really taking any damage, then usually you can cheese Mordecaster level 2 or even go for the fast speed level 1 and actually beat him this way. Um, but another great way, which in my opinion is a lot easier to do, is simply uh, letting Mordecaster just play it out level 1 the way how he wants. And then once you reach level 2 and 3 and you have the wave pushing towards you, um, that is where you start to like turn around the lane so once you like stack the wave up you get that level three you can actually start focusing on short trades and each time mordecai is just gonna queue you can tank it with your shield right that's the tactic here so now we're chilling i'm not going to be trading him he's probably going to queue me if i try to walk closer i'm just gonna all i want to do right now is his backboard because we just killed him before Nice try. Okay. So yeah, again, like we're not interested in fighting him. First, we want to get the backboard for the for the Warhammer. Okay, let's get tier one. All right. So there's a couple things you need to know. Like Mordekaiser is a champion. Um, if it gets like two items, it becomes very strong. Okay. Um, also, the power spike from Mordekaiser, um, where he does have a chance at beating you, is level 6. But luckily for us, we outskill Mordekaiser. At the same time, we have a lot of outplay potential. All we have to do is sidestep Mordekaiser abilities, and we will pretty much win automatically. So watch this. Now we're going to be uh, turning around. We're gonna charge my Q's up. We're gonna be trading him right now. So the trick against Mordegasser is to... Okay, he's dead already. There we go. It's kind of risky, obviously, what I did here, but it was worth it. I saw the opportunity. So the trick against Mordekaiser is to short trade him, pulling out the third Q with the stun and auto attack. And then once he pops his Q, you're going to shield it to sidestep. And then most Mordekaiser players will also drop their E down. Um, this is where all you have to do is just walk to the side and usually you can just dodge it. Hmm. Got you too. I didn't even recognize it was a Mumu. What? That was a super weird Amumu skin. I was like, what champion is this walking towards me right now? I couldn't understand like what champion it was. And then only halfway through, I figured out. <laughs> That's so strange, to be honest. So now it's going to be um, pretty straightforward. We're going to be walking back. I don't think that the wave is going to crash into the tower if he's this slow. Okay, he does.
But yeah, now all we have to do is just reach level 6. All we have to do is extend my Q and that's it. We just all in, proc the, the shield from him. That's the Q right there. He might press E. Yep. Most Mordecai's players will always use E after missing a Q. It's just how what people always do. Now he's going to E. He might press E here. Sidestep. We sidestep his Q and we also sidestep his E. You see like how useless he becomes? And we got him. So yeah, once again, like, it's not, um, fast Q against Mordecai is crucial here, but if you take a lot of damage in return, it's usually not worth it. You want to use Q's to, like, sidestep him. All the time. Also, the more ability haste you get, the better it becomes. Now we're going to get the uh, first plate. What I'm also going to try and do is try and kill him before he gets back to lane. Because he doesn't have R. I believe he also doesn't have flash. <laughs> Got him again. The reason why this works so well is because if he doesn't fight me and he's going to send here, then he's going to lose the entire wave over here. So whether he tries and walk up to the tower or not, we will win anyways. You know, that's the beauty of fighting between the two towers here. It just gives you a huge advantage. You know. Nice. Now we have all this stuff here. I'm gonna be pinging top with for Warwick because we can kill him again. Sidestep, sidestep. I'll just force the tower. <laughs> this Mordekas is dead again. And now we just wait. There we go. Alright, I guess he's already gave up. <laughs> <laughs> as soon as he hit the tower, he, he saw like Warwick, he just gave up immediately. <laughs> Alright, now we can get another tower using the Herald. Oh, whoops. Oh. Well, I guess I'm dead. Yep. Messed up. My bad. So, uh, the next item we're going to go buy right now is going to be this one. And I'll specifically go for Warhammer first. There you go. Now we're going to be starting to build towards uh, uh, the Hex Shrinker right now into the Maw item. And then after that, I think I might go for a Death Stance. I think I'm going to go for a red buff real quick. Because Warwick already has it, so... Point is for him to have another one. <clears throat> now we go bot lane. We're going to see if we can kill Ash here and Morgana. I hope she's going to stay for a bit. Stuck forever. She has no mana. Now I'm gonna go into the jungle here, take some jungle camps. Oh, there's no blue anymore. Never mind. So yeah, you see, like we're um, we're winning top, also thanks to the wall rig from before, helping us with the hero a bit. Now we go in bot lane and. We're winning that as well. I'm going to pretend like I'm going to walk away, but in reality, I'm just going to be chilling over here. If Blitzcrank comes in, we might be able to get something. The 
Yep. Um, if he could tank it first, then we can also kill this guy. Warwick is on the way too. <laughs> this Ash is completely dead. Oh, he got it. So we have another one. Now we take this stuff here, and then we're going to go back after. Oh, it actually lands, right? Didn't get a Kali, though. No more hesitation. Oh, more plates. Good. Now we can go back and we can get my my full item. Learn from your I knew Ash was right there. I didn't expect the ultimate though. I do queue forward to dodge something, but I I didn't expect a Ash ultimate. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna take one more wave and we just back off after. I think Morgana might be in this brush. Okay, let's get the uh, Mom of Marmorius and then afterwards we go for Death Stance. Now we run bot lane. Seems like uh, this Mordekaiser has already like, mentally given up, I guess. From what it looks like. <laughs> Sad. How should I proceed? It just keeps surprising me to this day. People play League of Legends. You're playing a competitive game. You're stuck up with five teammates, you lose the laning phase, and then you leave the game, like... Come on, guys. Come on, man. You're playing a competitive game. Keep your head in the game. Except the fact that you're losing, because if I lose, if I run it down, like, 0-10, and, and I have a super bad game, I never leave my games. I will accept that I int the game, and I will play the game till the end. You know, that's what it should be. It's kind of sad. Like, not too long ago, I was playing a champion. I don't know which one anymore. About a week ago, I think. Oof, I remember going like 11 deaths straight up. It was like one of those games where I just got like... camped super hard by the enemy jungle. And then also by mid lane. And I was like, I was super feeding because like, there was nothing I could do. Oh yeah, it was me playing Kale against Aurelia. It was a terrible matchup. I was 1v3 by the enemy jungle in mid. I was feeding like crazy because there was no opportunity for me to play the game out. But I, I was staying in the game. I never quit. You know. Well, uh, this is going to be a problem. I think that, yeah, we're getting chased now. Hmm. Okay, well, Akali is somewhere here. Uh, this guy's dead. For sure. Okay, I've got my ultimate in five seconds. Oh, 
Ah, I was gonna bait and then shield, but even if I shield into that, I would still die. <laughs> I should have walked away. I, I should have 100% like walked this way. <laughs> I, I really thought that I could bait Ash into like walking into me so I could kill her. <laughs> Uh, I think we can go for... I'll go for... Mm, I'll go for a garage. More damage. My spirit is not lost. But yeah, you see like happened so much lately, man. Just people like... It's not season 12 necessarily. Just ever since like... I don't know, man. I've been playing League since Season 1, guys. In Season 1, 2, 3, you have people leaving games, but not as much, you know. Um, but it feels like the more seasons that pass, the more people just mentally give up on this game. You know what I mean? Oh, I'll just kill you with ult. But yeah, I feel like the more seasons we go through, the less people just care about this game. You know? Season 5, I felt like people stopped caring about this game. Season 6, they changed runes, um, masteries and stuff like that. More people started giving up on this game. And eventually they added like plants to the game. You, you know what I'm talking about. Like, all these plants right here, right? And the, all these dragon changes and champion changes and all, all this crazy stuff, man. I feel like people don't even care anymore at this point. Like, I think if I look at all of my games that I play over the course of weeks at this point, I think the the chance of, like, people trolling or leaving games nowadays is, like, 30% of all my games. I'm pretty sure. But yeah, I feel like uh, I feel like 30% of my games there's at least one guy leaving the game. You know, it's 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 a high chance nowadays. Also, if I compare League to, like, Season 5 or 4 or 3 or whatever. You know, back in the day when you played League, each game was, um... How can I put it? Games would last, like, 50 minutes sometimes. It was just, like, some, some games were absolutely crazy, you know? Nowadays, if you start up a League game, it's either you get stomped, or... Like, you stomp people and you win the game. Or you get stomped and, like, there's no way to come back, you know. Nowadays, I feel like. By the way, I Whiskers, hey, thank you so much for the sub, man. Thank you so much for supporting me. Hey, welcome to the sub family. Alright, we got our red pot. Okay, let's get some kills here. We got flash, we're ready and set. Probably kill Ash. Got you. <clears throat> that Ash is actually kind of popping off, which is uh, interesting, considering like how fed I am this game. How should I 
Ah, uh, yeah, you guys also agree with me? Yeah. I wasn't surprised. Like, there was, uh, there was the other day where I saw, like, a post on Reddit where someone also specified, you know, the same problem. I think what, um, I, I think they did it, like, intentionally, just making the game more fast-paced, which I don't know if I agree with. You know, we, we all grow older, right? Where, uh, when I played League back in the day, I was 12 years old, man. I was, uh, I was some tiny kid. <laughs> I was some small kid just playing this game, you know? Um, we all grow older, like, I'm literally, uh, <laughs> 24 right now. <laughs> you know? But we all grow older, we have less time to play, but I don't know if I agree with, like, League of Legends becoming more short, you know, fast-paced, right? It's kind of losing its identity, you know what I mean? I don't think it's what League should be. I don't think it should just be 50-minute Super Stomp, right? I feel like the game sh should not be... Shouldn't be on just losing lane and losing game, right? I don't know. They've crossed the line. Might also sound crazy, but I, I also missed the, the the metas from back in the day. I remember when people used to complain about, ah, this is tank meta, tank meta, everyone's unstoppable. You know, you would see like a ball fight, like 1v3-ing like an ADC uh, mid lane and stuff like that. You know, it's it's actually not that bad if you think back to these days. Because right now, you could play any kind of champion in the game and you can just delete anyone with it, right? You play a champion like Anivia, a champion supposed to, you know, not kill people with one combo, you know. Now, Anivia can just press like one button and you lose like... 80% of your health bar, right? It, it kind of makes no sense, right? You, you have so many champions. You could even play... You could play Malphite. You could go full tank Malphite. You know, maybe build like one AP item and you're instantly this unstoppable force that can just press one button, right? Like any champion in the game nowadays can delete people with one combo. Quite literally. Dead. Thank you. 27 kills. I'm really impressed with like how hard this game is, considering I got 27 kills and we're actually unable to finish this game. What? For 28 kills and a 5 against 4. was doing to be honest okay well 30 kills Probably dive him. Nice. I'll force this one too.
<laughs> I'm dead in the end. I got like 6.5k gold. <laughs> I'm gonna come back like, like a raid boss, man. Uh, let's go. You know what? Let's just rush as much ability haste as we can. So currently we have 168 ability haste. All right. Let's go. So we have like 63% CDR currently. Oh man, all these ability haste that we have. <laughs> We're like stacked up with this. <laughs> Wait, you guys are saying Kaisa is AFK? Wait, I didn't even know until right now, actually. <laughs> Wait, are you serious? All this time I've been playing this game, I haven't even realized that Kaisa is actually gone. So it's actually a 4 against 4. Interesting. Uh, let's go for the top and head. What conflict awaits? Hmm. So they only have like one tower. Hey, you alive? Where are you going? Ooh, I got the kill. <laughs> Either way, guys, this is Riffin Top. Thank you so much for watching today's YouTube video, and I'll see you next time. Peace.